Yes, not 20, no. 30 years is in town, right? now. He's more than in town. He's quite literally right here. That's right John Lovitz, here. the man he's behind here. characters like Tommy Flanagan, <laughs> the Pathological Liars Association, uh, Master Thespian, acting, Hanukkah Harry and the Devil. He's going to be on stage at Liberty Fine Bone this weekend. And he's here for a little taste of what to expect, but you already know what to expect uh, because uh, you had to have seen uh, John Lovitz in movies and, mm -hmm. and and even voicing characters in the animated features and that sort of thing. I was surprised that when I read it, please don't hurt me for this, I was surprised that you were that your degree is in drama. You started oh, out yeah. as a serious actor. Yeah, I did plays in high school. I went to the University of California at Irvine. And uh, it was a great, and I did like 21 plays there, and you know, I was a drama major. And, and then that did, I just studied straight acting for 10 years, and then I finally just, I was 25, and said I really wanted to stick with comedy and I went to this Groundlings Theater but I hadn't had any work you know I was just mm -hmm. trying to keep getting ahead. Well I yeah. read that the first time you got a job in your chosen field you quit everything else right? Yeah I had a job I was working in a clothing store and I got a job for like two weeks and I go I just can't go back. <laughs> it was too humiliating and I ended up being a messenger I didn't work again for like three years. Oh my gosh what was that time like? It was hard, but I was in the Groundlings, which is like Second City in mm -hmm. Chicago, yeah. and so I had a lot of friends. It was it was a lot of fun, and and did a lot of plays there, and sketches, and shows, and you know, created characters, and uh, and I got on the Tonight Show from it, and then I got an agent and submitted me for Saturday Night Live, and then I got a movie with Charles Grodin, and he recommended me, and Lorraine Newman had been in the original cast, she recommended me, and then and I kept auditioning, and I got the show, and I couldn't believe it. Wow. It was like 30 years and 50 pounds ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you talk or about all, all those characters, and, and Sheila yeah. mentioned a bunch of them. Every, everybody does a John Lovitz. Like, like what's that they like do? for you? Well, yeah, everybody comes up and, and, and does an imitation of one of your characters at the very least. Is that, is that weird, knowing that every, well, everybody Well, it's flattering, does? but it makes me laugh because I, I, I still can't believe it happened. I mean, I, I feel like I'm always trying to just keep my career going, yeah. and I'm very grateful that just to be here is like is fun for me, and um, it's you know it's very flattering. But it's just I I was in college and I said to my professor, I go, do you think I could be a professional actor? And he said, yes, you have everything but your voice, because I would speak really, I'd be hello like this, I'd be really high, and and I would slur my words, and I, I would talk as uh, fast as I think. Well, you know how fast you think, so you yeah. could, I'd be like. Oh, by the way, when did this show end? Because I think maybe we, wait, no, you know, no, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, never mind, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone go, what? <laughs> I said, what? I, just, I go, I, sorry, I was thinking out loud. Yeah. Are, are, are these memorable characters that you have, are they the, the characters that have been with you over the course of your comedy career, or, and uh, then you've Well, I did some like Master Thespian and the Liar and the Groundlings, like, and then I got on the show, and they wrote The Devil and Hanukkah Harry, yeah. Senator Al Franken wrote that, <laughs> and then, you know, but uh, my stand-up act, I don't do that, it's, it's me, like I am now, but I talk about, you know, but I'm funny, but I talk about, <laughs> you know, politics, and I play the piano, I sing funny songs. You I, sing, you sing. Oh, yes. You You've sung at the Carnegie, yeah, so you really at Carnegie Hall. Yeah. Like you're an actual real singer. <laughs> <laughs> well, does that surprise? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, does that surprise people though to hear? I mean, someone. Every, like, anything I do surprises people. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. I play tennis. Does that surprise you? No. Yeah. You're an actual real tennis you're player. Tan. Yeah, you're, you're tan. You're <laughs> tan. I ate Pete Sampras once. I played him in his house. I'm not saying I'm anywhere close to as good as he is. I'm not even, obviously. But you aced But he was the number of play. Yeah, I, well, I got lucky, but I, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, when, you, when you're the hell denied for five minutes, and he goes, no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. He goes, okay, he did. <laughs> <laughs> when, when but I got lucky, you know. But no, those guys are amazing. I, I, like, like next weekend, I go to Florida. Chris Everett, you know, the tennis player, she has a, mm -hmm. a charity there every year mm -hmm. that helps homeless women and women on drugs get back, you know, rehab and get back on their feet right. and get a job. So I, you get to play with the pros, and so you're playing with them. You know, the best players in the world. And then they go, oh, I beat you. And I go, no, you didn't beat me. I go, the pros, they decided who's going to win. I go, are you insane? <laughs> I go, they're not even trying. I go, they would be, the balls, would, we would be knocked out. You understand? We'd be at the net, you'd, and then you'd be on the ground going, what happened? <laughs> they're, they're hitting it. All, you know, they're not even trying. I go, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> 
When people come see you and they come see you doing stand-up, do, do you give them some of the characters they're expecting or is it more just sort of life experience stuff coming from you? No, it's me. It's I mean, once in a while, I do a little bit, but I tried doing that in the beginning, but it, it, uh, I started doing stand-up, like learn, really learning how to do it 12 years ago, but it just didn't work. So. So what it's become for me is it's, it's just, it's, it's not acting, it's me in what I really think. And the more I'm me, the more they laugh. Mm -hmm. Like the more I say what I'm really, really thinking, the more they laugh. Because I think they connect to the, uh, honesty more than anything. Mm. Sure. Yeah. yeah, sometimes real life is the funniest thing. Well, and right. the other thing is, you know, w which uh, I think a lot about the election. One reason I think Trump won and Hillary didn't is at when they would speak to the crowds. And then acting, you go, when a bad actor in the beginning, you're saying your lines, you're like, hello, how are you? Nice to see you. And you go, you're not, you know, they go, don't talk at the person, talk to the person. Mm. Well, Trump would talk to them. Like, he, like, he did, like, you go, he's not even acting like he's in front of a crowd. He's talking like he's in a small room going, hey, you guys, what do you think of that? Is that crazy? And it, well, yeah. he's talking to you, so people respond to that. And that's what you do in stand-up. She would talk at people. She up there, and I think we're gonna do it, and won't that be great? Yeah. Doesn't that sound like her? Yeah. But, but, you, but you don't, yes. you go, what? No yeah. one can relate, it, it, yeah. it's, it's like she's making a speech, she's not talking to mm -hmm. them. I felt, so yes, I felt like yesterday That's was really one of the first times she actually talked to people. Right. Yesterday. Yeah, in, in her concession yeah. speech. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're out of time. John really? Lovitz, thank no. you so much. Uh, Sean, why do we have to be on time? Thank you for having the show. We've got shows uh, 7.30 tonight and tomorrow night and then 7 on Saturday night. Uh, we have a link to that at local12.com. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, John. by the way, if people are mad that Trump won, uh, it's Ohio's fault. That's right. It's all <laughs> our fault. What did I say? As Ohio goes, goes, so goes the White House. So goes Sorry. Through. That's right. Can, can, I ask, can, I one, can I ask one quick question just real quick? Ask John, yeah, as long as it's like a <laughs> quick, quick. No, How's kidding. your wife, Morgan Fitch? She's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get away. I know, I've wanted to do that my entire life. Now here's John. Now here's John. <laughs> in the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much.